Well, I wanted to do another video on electric arc lighters. You all know the ones, everybody says they always hate the sound these make. Um, but I wanted to do another video on them because there's lots of things about them that are quite interesting and hopefully there's going to be some better models of these coming out from what I've heard from people. And they're weird little lighters. Um, as actual cigarette lighters, they're really good, but as far as um, utility lighters go, they leave a lot to be desired, which I think is what you know they're getting better at. And I reason I always, I always bring this up because people always go, "Oh, they're not designed to be um, utility lighters. Why do you keep, uh, you know, saying they are and giving them bad reviews on that sense?" It's because lots of advertisers claim they are. Now, if you are buying the product to do that, then the product is not fit for service. Therefore, it deserves a bad review. However, you know, if they said this light cigarettes and that was about it, uh, it would be a really good, you know, lighter. So let's have a look at them. So this is the first one I got that says V Way on it. Um, or Huawei, however it is, um, I think it's been spelt differently in different places. Um, you depress a button and it does that. Um, it charges at the bottom via, I think that's micro USB, it's a mobile phone charger for like all the Android type phones anyway. Um, and when you're doing that, it cuts it off when it gets too low. Um, so it's designed you know, so it can't go off in your pocket. So that's quite a good feature, but that feature is also a hindrance because you can't lift the lid bigger than anything like that so if you're trying to light something awkward you won't be able to do it so that was the first one I got bought that a couple of years ago or it might have been at some point last year I bought it I can't quite remember and this was about £20 something I think I paid for it at the time and they're definitely coming down cheaper than that now as they become you know more widespread so then I got this one because this is one that people recommended to me and these get lots of different names. Um, I've heard them called Edison Arc lighters, but you know they seem to be a totally different name depending on which company's selling them and everything else. So you push pull, push this on this one up, and this comes out, and then the little button is under there that to press, and then you get this sort of like little cattle prod taser thing. Um, and this one is actually really practical because the beams are a bit further apart. And that's the problem with these, is that you don't have enough space for a lot of them to light stuff, if it, unless it's a cigarette. So, as I said, if they advertise them only to light cigarettes, then they'd be good, but when they say it can do this, it can do that, you know, that's impractical. But regardless, um, you've got this that's further apart, so you can fit more stuff between it, and you can reach this into harder to get areas. I think this one's designed for lighting gas hobs. Um, you know, and this one does a lot more utility things, which is great. However, it's a bit bulky just to keep in a pocket, so it's not that practical to have on you as a lighter to take out somewhere. So then I got this third type, which is like a Zippo styled one. It's in a Zippo case, basically. You can't remove it from there, it's welded in, but you know, it's essentially a Zippo from that way. Charging ports on the bottom. And the good thing I like with this one is you can hold the lid, you know, fully open like that and the electric thing isn't associated with the lid, the idea is the button can't be pressed when it's in your pocket because that's down. Um, and again it has a Zippo style lid where you can not close it, but I don't really see the point in it. But um, you know it's literally a Zippo with this inside it. Um, and again it does that, so yeah it's pretty practical. Um, so I like this one because the lid flaps more open so you can um, hold it like that and get it at, you know, harder to reach areas. But again, they aren't perfect as said. There's lots of things they can't do that a normal lighter could do easily. But they're an interesting novelty thing. And <clears throat> as people are saying, what a lot of people said to me is they're making ones where it'd almost be a round lighter and then the coil is like flat on the lighter, which sounds really good if that gets made. Um, you also get ones that I call coil lighters, which are where there's a bit of wire that heats up with electric current running through it. it works like a toaster or a cigarette lighter in a car. And they can be good or bad, it depends on the model, because with some models i found, again, it's hard to get the actual heated element to reach stuff you want to light, so it doesn't light stuff all that well. But with these, um, yeah, I think they're pretty cool. And I said, because the prices are coming down lower and lower on these, these are quite a good thing to pick up if you can get them, you know, for not very much money. But, as I said, um, don't expect the world from them, because they mostly are just designed to light cigarettes. It's just a lot of advertisers or a lot of companies selling them like to claim they can do everything, like a Zippo or a Bic or, um, you know, a Clipper lighter could, when in theory all they can really do is light cigarettes. 
but if you can get something between the beams on these, they do get very, very hot and um, you know it sets them on fire quite quickly or burns the actual little, neat little hole through something which is cool but um, you can't use these as tasers either because that's one of the things people keep saying is oh these are like good as tasers they make the things small so you can't tase people with it that's not true there's a video on my channel if you look at it where we test it out as a taser and it makes it basically makes person being tased go ow that's about it it gives you a very minor shock and sort of irritates you it doesn't make you Ugh! Because there's videos on YouTube where people shock themselves and they on purposely like, you know, do that. And then it's either them jumping at the shock or it's actually, you know, them faking um, being electrocuted. Where in reality it just makes you, oh, you know, cut that out. It doesn't, if you couldn't use it as a self-defense thing, the person would probably laugh at you and then stab you. So there you go. Um, as for these, yes, they are cool. But as I said, they have their limitations.